Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This video covers two interesting series. Problem one. If f of x is equal to 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the x plus 2, then what is the value of f of 1 over 1997 plus f of 2 over 1997 plus f of 3 over 1997, and so on until the final term f of 1996 divided by 1997. I think Kannad for the suggestion. Problem two. Here is a challenging question from Morocco. Simplify the following product. And the first term is one minus one over two squared. The second term is one minus one over three squared. And the pattern continues until the final two terms are 1 minus 1 over 2022 squared, and the final term is 1 minus 1 over 2023 squared. Write your answer in the form a over b for integers a and b relatively prime. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's solve problem one. So in a problem like this, the natural thing to do is to look for a pattern. So one possibility to try is to see if you can sum up consecutive terms and see if you get any simplification. I was not able to. So you try this approach and then you start over. Another approach is to pair terms. So imagine pairing the first term with the last term, then the second term with the second to last term and so on. So what can we say about these terms? Well, 1 over 1997 and then 1996 over 1997, these two terms will sum to 1. So we're looking for a pattern in f of x plus f of 1 minus x. It turns out there is a pattern like this. So let's evaluate f of 1 minus x. This is equal to 4 to the power of 1 minus x divided by 4 to the power of 1 minus x plus 2. Let's try to rewrite this fraction so it has the same denominator of 4 to the power of x plus 2. First, split up the exponents. Now, multiply the numerator and denominator by 4 to the power of x. So this simplifies to be 4 divided by 4 plus 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of x. If we then multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 half, so we're effectively dividing through by 2, we will end up with 2 divided by 2 plus 4 to the power of x. If we just flip the two terms in the denominator, we get exactly the same denominator as f of x. So f of 1 minus x is equal to 2 divided by 4 to the power of x plus 2. If we add f of x and f of 1 minus x, we end up summing that the numerator will be 4 to the power of x plus 2, which is exactly the same as the denominator. So this is equal to 1. So now we can see how pairing will allow us to solve the problem. So let's write x1 as 1 divided by 1997. This will pair with the very last term because 1 minus x1 is equal to 1996 divided by 1997. The second term will pair with the second to last term, and so on. So let's write xi to be equal to i divided by 1997. The sum can be rewritten as f of x1 plus f of x2, and we go all the way to the halfway point, which is f of x 998. The remaining terms will all pair with these first 998 terms. So the first 998 terms will pair with the remaining 998 terms. So this will be 998 terms that are equal to 1, so that gives us the answer of 998. Wow. Now let's solve problem two. I will first review the difference of squares formula. x squared minus y squared is equal to the product of x plus y and x minus y. So here's a geometric visualization. Imagine one square with an area of x squared, which means each side is equal to x, 
and we have another square with area y squared, where each side is equal to y. If we take the difference of areas of the squares, we will have the area of x squared minus y squared. But we can express this area in another way. Here, we have one rectangle with one side y and another side equal to x minus y. Here, we have another rectangle where one side is x and the other side is x minus y. So we can line up the two sides that have lengths of x minus y. So we'll slide this rectangle over and then we will rotate it from its corner to match up the sides of x minus y. We have now formed a new rectangle. The top side has length of x plus y and the other side has a length of x minus y. So this area is equal to x plus y multiplied by x minus y and that's exactly the same area of x squared minus y squared, QED. So now let's solve the problem. The first term is a difference of squares, so we can factor it as 1 minus 1 half multiplied by 1 plus 1 half. The second term is also a difference of squares, so this will be equal to 1 minus 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 plus 1 over 3. This continues. Every single term is a difference of squares. So this will be 1 minus 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 plus 1 over 4. We continue all the way to the final term. Now, let's take a look at 1 plus 1 half multiplied by 1 minus 1 third. This is 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 3 which is of course equal to 1 because the numerator cancels out with the next denominator and vice versa. We then look at the next pair of terms. So we have 4 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 4. This again cancels out to be equal to 1. The general pair of terms will be 1 plus 1 over n multiplied by 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. The first simplifies to be n plus 1 over n, and the second simplifies to be n over n plus 1. So this product is equal to 1. So every single pair of terms in the middle will cancel out to a product equal to 1. So all of these pairs will cancel out, and we have something that's known as a telescoping product. If you think about a telescope that retracts upon itself, it can collapse so that only the very beginning and the very end survive. This is why it's known as a telescoping product. So here we have the same sort of thing, only the very beginning and the very end will survive. So we just need to simplify this product. 1 minus 1 over 2 is equal to 1 half, and 1 plus 1 over 2023 is equal to 2024 divided by 2023. So this product simplifies to be 1,012 divided by 2,023, and that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.